to get over him looking like or she looking or behaving like the one you had so now we're talking about the lover having the capacity to be so self sacrificing that I can hang until you turn the corner what matter of love and manliness there's no greater love than a man laid down his life for his friend and this is a challenge of love in marriage teach me how to love you if you can learn why you have to have God because there are times when only God keeps you sane God has to reply re restore and become the source because it's not always coming requited because I hear you saying I give out so much I get so little back because you're looking for even Stephen you're looking for reciprocity on the same level but you might not have as much issues as your mate come on now now the question is do you have the capacity be to become the savior of the one you love because some of us need a savior some of us need somebody who has been through enough to understand that their capacity has been broadened through their experiences so that might be a challenge to sister over there but this is not gonna break me because I've been through enough crazy folk to deal with this other crazy man that God put in my life or I chose for myself but you can't send somebody over here who haven't been through anything because some of us are too devious for that. We've been too mixed up for that. We got too many issues for that. So if you're coming, you got to come with more than a body, honey. You got to come with a mind and a relationship with God that says, I can conquer this mountain too. Oh, I wish I could shout on this one just a little bit because I got a source from God and he's got to give me the strength to deal with this now can I take it further it's not always sin because two lovers never love the same Ooh, I feel it here they never love the same and, and, and two people don't have the same significance for the same thing so what's real important to you may mean absolutely nothing to me now do you have the capacity because when you've been through something as a good friend of mine he told me he said he said they said jones i bought my wife a mink coat man for christmas it's the baddest thing and i know what he, what he can buy it's bad and he said, she pulled the thing out the box, she screamed, she threw the coat on the, on the floor and went for the card. <laughs> he, said, he said, woman, pick up the coat, pick up the coat. Pick up the coat, you know how much money I spent for it. I ain't spent no money for that card. Pick up the coat. <laughs> she wanted to see what he had to express that money couldn't buy in a store uh, it's not always about somebody being sinful it's just that some people are difficult and when you've been through something that's why you don't run from somebody that's been through something because God prepares people by putting them through a whole lot of stuff you went through is God preparing you for your lifetime mate 
all of them years you going through and somebody judging you by your past don't let nobody judge you by the experience God has given you because at the end of the day they're going to get the blessing out of all the tears you cried down through the years of your life oh I feel like dancing in here Oh, don't judge me because I've been there. I, I wish I could talk to y'all. Brothers. I could go crazy right about now. Y'all better turn them cameras off. <laughs> See, men sit around trying to count how many husbands around counting how many men and wives been with. Get happy one night, you know, leaning up against the insecurity rising, getting nervous. My father taught me, he said, you know, he said, no, a whole lot of things are settled in the bed. Sex settles a whole lot of stuff around the bed. That's where a whole lot of stuff gets settled. He said, people say they're prejudiced, say they, they love black folk and they love each other ethnically. He said, we can settle that real easy. Could somebody marry your daughter that was a different ethnic quality? So that'll settle it. They didn't work together all that, but there ain't no marriage. We ain't arguing about that. The bed. And a whole lot go on in the bed because men are really, they're real fragile with their sexuality. They boast of escapades and adventures and journeys they ain't never been on. <laughs> Y'all grown, eh? And technique has become the signature of relationship technique I wonder if you ever read Rollo May Rollo May Love and Well one of the greatest psychologists of the 20th century but in order to have great technique you gotta feel less <laughs> I ain't going there that's a, I go that to get too deep for you now So in the middle of insecurity, he begins to wonder how much experience his maid has had. And I sit and I hear them when they come and they getting real shaky woman good to him and all that. And he's worried about what she did 20 years ago. I tell him it's under the blood. Whatever she did. She moved you, you with her. Tell me now you're getting ready to quit now you're talking all kind of madness so I ask this question I say would you have rather she would with five six seven eight nine ten you can make the number mediocre men or she was with one who was the last word Well, I don't know, Brother Pastor, but you're going to get through it. Because what people have gone through now makes them a bundle of wisdom and strength and power to deal with how difficult you are. And God prepares gifts in many different ways in order to fix them for somebody just like you he had to stretch him with rejection with being walked on with being mistreated with being talked about he had to bring them to the place where they understood the evils of the world and what they can't deal with and then when God sends you they are so appreciative of having something that has quality from God that they determine